Can you believe what has happened today? I just have got to share this with you. All right, so this just amazing thing just happened with uh, someone in our prayer group named Deb. Deb, you're just going to love this. All right, so interesting. You know I went on a hike today, and I met a lot of beautiful people. And one lady I met, she was um, carrying this flag about love revolution. She says she has a ministry, and she is hiking with her dog. And she and I just connected immediately. We took a picture of each other. Okay, and she tells me a little bit about her ministry. And I tell her, ooh, I've got God bumps. She goes, oh, never heard of God bumps, but I like it. That's amazing. Does that mean chills? I was like, yes, that's presence. And so anyway, we're talking back and forth. She and I take pictures of each other. All right, fast forward. I get home. Someone in our prayer group has asked for prayer for her dad. All right, her dad has the same symptomology that of someone I prayed for many years ago and who was totally and completely healed in the hospital. In fact, the daughter, doctor wasn't sure that he was actually healed. He was bleeding internally and uh, went in anyway, found nothing bleeding. The man was totally and completely healed. So I shared that story with um, Deb. She's like, we got to pray like this. She comes over. We sit down. Before we get on to prayer, guess what? A bird flies into my bird feeder over there. See that? What kind of bird was it? It was a finch. Thank you very much. And oh, guess what? Her dad's last name is Finch. What? God was totally just loving on us today. He was just showing us that he is with us. And so I prayed with um, her dad, John, and uh, mom, Eleanor. And it was a beautiful prayer. We even took him through forgiveness prayer. It's lovely. Then we finish up the prayer. Everybody's left in tears because the Spirit of God was moving so powerfully. Then I tell Deb a little bit about the woman that I had met on the trail because people were foraging like for mushrooms and things like this. And I was wanting to share a little bit about that. I show her the woman and Deb goes, that's Rena and her dog Rio. I'm like, how do you know them? She goes, oh my gosh, she's so lovely. What? She goes, she's so on fire for God. Do you just see this? I mean, the finch meeting Rena, Deb coming over, the prayer, the flowers, the connection that Deb has, even with the person I just met like a few hours ago, who's in ministry as well. God is so present. Are your eyes open that you see these kinds of things? No longer call things like this a coincidence. Oh no. We're talking god students, my friend. This has been your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. I pray that while you heard this testimony of healing, of divine appointments, divine timing, that your eyes are going to be opened. I pray that in the name of Jesus, that those who are listening actually have their eyes open to see what they haven't seen before with new vision, new wine, fresh manna. All right. No coincidences, my friend. These are now God's sentences. This has been your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. I pray that it blesses you. Just uh, go to my YouTube channel and check some more of these uh, teachings out. It's about this dependence and relying and being abandoned and yielded to presence. Then watch what happens. God bless.